Okay, let's see if I can make this work. Hello. Just gotta get rid of this layer and we can get started in a sec. I just have way too many layers on this thing. There it is. Cool. Let's just go to start.sh. Hello. How's it going? Oh, there's. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, I just turned it on. So, um, before I get started, I try to do a little bit of tooling over the weekend. Um, I really want to make sure we're not missing a whole lot from our data. What's up, Root? What's up, X? Uh, so what I did was, um, I ran AMAS somewhere. Oops. Okay. Uh, let me source my profile. Okay. Um, so I ran AMAS earlier yesterday, but I think it may have messed up completely. Um, so I ran AMAS just to see how many subdomains I may be missing. And um, it looks like a lot of stuff come from NE1. Um, a lot of garbage it looks like. Nothing screams that is you know, useful to us. But I did it anyways because I wanted to make sure I'm not missing anything else. And before we move to the next phase, I also want to try and do um, a quick sublister. So if you're not familiar with sublister, let's just pull this and uh, give it a try. And then once this is done, we'll just go through Aquatone. I did some screenshots already, but um, I want to go through them and kind of talk about what I think is important to me as a hacker or what looks like it's uh, looks juicy or important to look at. So I'm going to go to my tools and I'm going to just clone this. Oh, I already have sublisted. Cool. Um, let's see if I have it installed properly. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and try this on Yahoo and see what uh, root subdomains we've forgotten or we haven't seen. Is that better now? I think someone said the volume is really low. Let me know if this helped. Um, but what I'm going to do is I want to try Sublister one last time, one last tool, and see if we miss any uh, subdomains. And then if we haven't, we'll just go through the data that I already have. The 60 threads, um, let's do the output, Yahoo, new, and then let's give it some ports. I wanna see if it is any 80443, 8443, and 8080 open. Just see some easy ones. Let's see how this goes. Um, and uh, the reason why I wanna do this again is I don't want to rely just on cert.sh before I run into my next phase. And I want to see if anything is missed. If it's not missed, and we know. And anything that we have missed, I want to go after. Uh, Lazy Recon, by the way, is getting a huge um, lift. Let me actually show you guys what's happening with Lazy Recon really quick. So there is a, there's someone on Twitter who's been very, very active and very... Uh, it's pretty much maintaining my lazy recon. Uh, Plenum, I think is this how you say the name. If you're here, please say hello. I would like to uh, acknowledge you here. Um, but he's been doing a lot of good work with lazy recon. Uh, he's been completely maintaining it and um, adding some stuff to it. So if we go to GitHub, um, he's added like a, a mass and a couple of things I think in there. So big shout outs to him. He's completely redesigned it. He's also working on making it a lot faster. He said he could do a, a 8,000 domains, I think, in a couple of hours. Um, 
but he added mass DNS. He had he added a couple other things. Um, it's been great so far. I haven't given it a try, but hopefully he's gonna push the new changes that he's made into this repo uh, sometimes this week. Um, so yeah, go ahead and follow him. Give him a shout on Twitter. Uh, if you're a big fan of Laser Recon, let him know that you appreciate it. So the screenshot thing, uh, someone's asking why is the sh screenshot thing not working? Um, does it not work on everything at all or does it miss some stuff? Because I'm using Web Screenshot Pi for uh, my screenshots on Lazy Recon, which I think we're gonna switch to Aquaton eventually. But um, the reason why it doesn't work sometimes it's because you are taking screenshots of uh, domains that are getting uh, redirected or you're taking screenshots of websites that are not, um, they have some problem with it. I don't know what that problem could be. I have to look into it, but uh, I think we're gonna switch to Aqua Tone and see where it goes. So this is who has been working on it. Really cool stuff. Um, he's gonna push another change to it. I'm gonna look at my messages. He said, uh, he said he's made it very crazy fast. He's gonna put up a new um, install script. And yeah, so if you like it, uh, he said the performance overall has been enhanced by 16%. So I think he did a test before and then with the new test, it was 16% better. So yeah, web screenshot Pi has been very, very weird, JT. Um, I'm not sure why, but it's, um, I'm switching to Aquatone just because it's been more reliable and uh, I can actually show you guys what I've been doing. So um, I put all my data in Recon Data, Verizon Media, and within Verizon Media, I have Yahoo.com, and I had Aquatone um, take all of this, and it did it very, very fast. Hey, Tio. Hello from Brazil. Um, so I did, let's see how many domains there are here. So 2,000 domains that I give it, and it got... 841 screenshots, which isn't bad because a lot of them are probably aren't really um, hosting anything. What I don't like about it is I don't know if it takes screenshots of the 404s or not, um, but way better than what I expected. So we're gonna keep it, and um, we're gonna go through all that data in a little bit. Um, so while I wait on this, I want to go through some of the stuff that I look at for uh, HTTP headers. So whatever in the headers folder right here, we're gonna look at it really quick. And this has 843 headers. Um, not sure why it doesn't match what we have here, but uh, this could also be because we are doing HTTP and HTTPS, so it could be just skipping those. So there's a couple of things that I like to look at the headers. I don't know if this would work with, um, with Yahoo because Yahoo's internal infrastructure is different. Um, what do you mean increase the volume? Can you guys not hear me okay? The volume is all the way at the, here, let me change it really quick. Tell me if this is better. I know that was really loud, but tell me if this is better. Um, okay, hold on, this one, this, this gotta be better a little bit. It has a microphone right in front of me, so I'm not sure why it's not. Sounding too good. Um, let me play some music also, just to make it easier. There we go. I've always played this. There we go. So I want to go through the headers that I have on my um, headers folder. I don't know if this is a good idea for uh, Yahoo, again, because Yahoo's internal infrastructure is completely different. Uh, it's not on yahoo.com, it's moved. But still, we want to give it a try and see where it goes. Um, if you watch my Monday streams, you you can um, you will know that I go through uh, and I fingerprint stuff. So we want to do the same thing here now too. We want to look at the fingerprinting and see uh, what kind of stuff we can find. So if we read everything, um, there's a bunch of TXE files. I'm gonna open one of them to show what it looks like. So. What Aquatone does is 
Um, it grabs all the headers. It tells you what the uh, response is on the server. It also grabs the um, response headers, right? So I want to see if there's any, let's do all of them. And then we're going to grip for location. I'm going to see what's on location really quick. Oh, nothing for location. There's only one that has location. So usually I look for the location header, um, mostly because I want to look at redirects. If there is an internal, um, if there's an internal domain that's internally accessible, but it's redirecting to an SSO, it will show it in the location header. But I don't think that Aquatone looks for the response headers at all. I'm not even sure what these headers are. But usually it's supposed to show you all the um, location headers if there is one. Which by the looks of it, it doesn't look like this has anything. So what we can do is um, we'll do this. While we are working on our data, I'm going to have this. Um, I'm going to have it just curl these at some point. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow, but we want to get all the headers um, and see if there's anything being internally forwarded. And it looks like this is almost done. Um, oops. So this is something I have never seen in our data before, but it looks like it's, it looks like it's under the DE domain, so I'm going to skip it. Um, we've seen all of these before. Um, we've seen all the my domains. The music is something that I haven't worked on. So maybe we should do some of the music stuff and movies um, for maybe 30 minutes. And then after that, we will move over to, uh, we'll move over to looking at the data that we have already. So let's go ahead and make a, another folder we, like we always do uh, today's date being 28th. So And then we're going to do a search sage on, um, oh, there we go. So let's go to the right folder, folder again, 728. And then we're going to do search.sh music.yahoo.com. And then we're going to call it uh, Tom's tool. And we're going to have it add to our all.txt. Before I do this, because I don't want to deal with any errors, I'm just going to make that. Okay. Let's see where that goes. Not a whole lot of stuff on music. Uh, oh, I forgot the wild card. Oops. So we do this. Let's see what we get. Um, still nothing really. Not much under 20. Um, not much under uh, music.yahoo.com. Let me just make sure my bash profile isn't messing anything up oh that's what, it, what it's doing so what we're gonna do is so it should work just without this bit yeah looks like nothing we can find um, I just want to make sure the script hasn't been messed up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try the TV subdomain I see a TV right here TV's getting some stuff okay Cool. Um, this is all. This is almost. Actually, this is over. I was gonna say almost over. So what we can do is we can look at the Yahoo New .txt and see what other stuff we have missed. Uh, so Web Messenger is another one. And then we're going to. Actually, you know what? I'm tired of doing this. I'm gonna make a new profile. Uh, a new um, alias. Uh, we'll call it this um, cert probe does that make sense but what this will do is we'll have it um, do the same thing All right and then we will say oh wait that's not what I needed whoops so what we're going to do is we're gonna make another alias. We're gonna call it cert probe. What this will do is it would also feed it to Tom's tool and it will also 
add it to our all.txt in the current folder. I'm just tired of doing that every time one by one. Um, so I'm gonna just put that here, make it easy. That makes sense? So let's give it a try. And let's see if this works. Um, let's try it on Messenger and see if it works. Let's try another domain. Um, let's see what this does first. Okay, so this is coming back empty. At least I know it's not my script right here. Um, let's read this again. So 360 is an old Yahoo service that used to be around back in the day. It used to be the Facebook kind. What's up, Kong? Um, let's see if there's any website up for it. Nope. And just to make sure my script is not broken. Yep. Analytics. This, this could be a juicy one, but I want to make sure there's stuff behind it before. Yeah. So we're going to feed this to the cert, um, probe domain that we made or alias that I made. Found some really cool domains. Right off the bat, this looks really, really juicy. Let's just open it up really quick. Some admin stuff, but it goes on AOL. Um, and no matter what you do, it redirects you. But it looks like there is some stuff here. So there is some uh, JS files we can look at. There's 13 of them. I think the component one would be cool to look at. But it's port 9008, and I don't think we have access to 9008. And we can also try this. Um, let's see. Is this open? No, that didn't open. This looks really, really interesting. Um, if anyone has the time today, you might want to look into this. Give me some environment information. There's probably some, one of these probably has some API and an API docs on top of it. Some really juicy domains like uh, AOLcloud.net. So this is right off the bat something really, really interesting, but it also has S3, so I wonder if it's on a Amazon S3 bucket. Let's just find out. Let's do a host and see where it's at. No, it looks like it's not on a, it's not an S3 bucket on Amazon. But yeah, this looks really, really, really interesting because it has a word dev, right? The word dev could mean a bunch of things depending on what organization we're going after, but because it has dev in there, it looks really interesting. But let's keep going through this list of domains that we found from uh, Sublister. So advertising and ad server. I think I have ad server already. I'm going to do advertising really quick. So we'll do cert probe. Let's see what this finds. I promise I'm not gonna spend too much time on this today. I know I've been going over the top, but I do this because I don't wanna miss any domains before we move on. This is also interesting because it has the word tools in it. And it says hello world, so it's even better because we don't know what's behind this. So very, very interesting stuff. Uh, we'll come back to this too. So let's see what else we're missing. Um, we did this one. We did this. I don't know what this is. We'll skip it for now. I don't care about answers, but it's kind of weird because I don't think there's going to be anything outside of these behind it. So I'm just going to leave it alone. Astrology. Let's try that. Yeah, again, astrology, this is why I don't go after some of the domains, because it doesn't find anything outside of the different country subdomains on it. Uh, so that's typically why I, uh, I skip those. We'll do auction too, just because auction is a huge site on Yahoo, especially when you go to HK domain. So we'll run this. There's a lot of stuff that come up. Nothing looks super interesting right off the bat, but who knows. 
The other thing we could do to be smart is we can also feed this into a aqua tone to just make our process faster. Is it, by the way, is this music too loud? Let me know if you think it's too loud or if you guys can hear me okay at least. Um, interesting domain. I've never seen that. And then also, oh, it's a celebrity, so I'm not going to go after it. So let's try the Cert Pro. What's up, JP? Uh, burrito, I don't know what that is. Let's run that too. Okay, let's go to the next page. Um, kind of iffy, kind of iffy. I don't know if I want to go after it. Marketing is a good one. I've seen a lot of stuff on e-marketing in the past. Um, so let's do that too. Right about at uh, 10.45 late, we're going to switch, I promise. I know we went after fantasy sports. We'll leave that alone. Euro sports could be good because it's usually under Euro. Uh, I've done eSports before, but we haven't done this one. Um... Let's try it. Start Pro. I think we did finance already. We'll skip that. GeoCities we did the other time. Go is a big one. Because it has an API in there, it makes me interested. Uh, and I'll explain why all of these are interested to me. Interesting to me in a sec. Also, um, I want to do some sort of a meet and greet, not really meet and greet, but I want to get together for um, Vegas. So let me know if you guys are going to Vegas. I would love to meet up with everyone. Um, I'm thinking about doing a vlog about my Vegas, especially since I'm talking at DEF CON. But I would love to meet some people at uh, DEF CON as well. Hey Jay, awesome. Um, I'll probably drop something on my Twitter later on just to talk about where and when. I have to see if, uh, what, what days I'm busy at work and uh, maybe we can host something. Okay, this is interesting. Media is a pretty big one. I think we've done that one already. And we have done already. Um, it's a German site. The my sites aren't that interesting. Music is okay. I'm not going to go after it. Movies is all right. The same thing. Um, so what I'm doing right now, uh, who was it that was asking what we're doing? K4. Uh, I'm doing my final um, steps of def uh, doing my recon on Yahoo. So I'm finding as many supplements as I can. And what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go through all this data that I've collected and talk about what is interesting to me and why. But I want to give it a one last look before uh, I move on from this step. So we're getting into a lot of garbage now. This is interesting. I want to try because I like to see stuff like prod makes me, you know, think there's something interesting behind it. So let's just try it out. Might not find something anyways. Yeah, I didn't find anything. I wonder if search spotter will find anything. No, none of them finds anything on there. Oh well, we tried. Wait, is it a World Cup for Fortnite right now? Is Ninja even on? I don't see Ninja on anywhere here. Oh, there it is. Tifu's playing. Oh, Ninja is live too. Cool. Um, I'm not doing any endpoints yet. Maybe we'll do it later, but um, we're gonna go through a little bit of data. You'll see what I mean by that. All right, it looks like we're getting at the end of this list. Um, I don't know what Shine is. We'll just skip. Verizon seems to be an older thing. Messenger is an old thing. Style is just a style website. Who cares? Stock is a big one. Let's try stock. There we go. So that's it. Uh, this one too. I think that's it. YSM and Y. Maybe we could do YQL too. Let's see. Start Pro. This. Nothing. Wow. Okay. Start Pro. 
I've seen people find some crazy stuff on YQL, so let's give it a try. Okay, not a whole lot, but some stuff. I think I did this one, didn't I? No. Okay, let's do this one and we'll move on. So now that we have all of our data here, it's almost over. I think it's stuck on probe right now. There we go. So we have 128 domains, not bad. I'm gonna feed it to, um, actually let's do this. Yeah, we'll feed it to Aquatone. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't do a lot of uh, hacking because uh, I can't find a vulnerability live and disclose it online. But what I can do is show you guys how I do it and what are the things that I look at. Um, so one of the things that I've been working on also is the tooling. So these are the tools that I've used so far. Fingerprinting is what we wrote on Mondays. Um, so if you're not familiar, on Mondays, I fingerprint some stuff and write scripts around it. Um, I'm gonna do a directory search, but before I do, I wanna do, uh, I wanna f make a alias for it, a bash alias, so I don't have to type the syntax every time. So, we'll call it directory search, and what we'll have just do is, first of all, it has to go to directory for directory search um, to make it easier. So we'll just make it tools. So you don't have to do this part, but this is just for me to make sure I'm debugging things right. So we're gonna go to the folder and then we're gonna have Python directory search.py. You wanna give it the URL. The URL is going to be given to this by us. And um, we are also going to have it look for extensions, but we're gonna actually have it ask for what extensions we want it to do. Um, we also want to give it some threads. I think it's dash 20. We'll give it 100 threads. I've done 200 with this. We can do 200, but I don't want to put too much uh, stress on it. And um, we can do a header if we want. Um, the reason why I do headers is to just have something like um, an X forwarded for. Forwarded for. I don't even know if I did that right. Did I spell this right? Let's just make sure. Yeah, so I want to give it this header just in case there's any some any misconfigs. It's going to think we're coming from localhost. Um, I've had some good luck with it, but we'll see. And then we're gonna close this out. So we have directory search done. And let's hope this works. Uh, let's source it. Oops. This is still screenshotting. Uh, I'm gonna just try this really quickly to see if it works. And we're gonna give it um, HTML for now, just because I wanted to see if it works. Okay, so I have a I have this working now but it did it way too fast. Uh, okay, that's why. So this word list is really, really small. Let me see if I can download my own really quick. I should have one somewhere. So I'm gonna look at my other screen really quickly and pull some, uh, pull a word list on my other server really quick. So I changed my word list. I pulled it from my other server. Looks like everyone saw that server already anyways. But what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to run it on this. So I have, um, I think this has a lot of words. What? That didn't work. Let's try it again. Let me see. So what I'm trying to do is I want to, um, I have a server somewhere else that has a lot of my data. What I was trying to do is I was trying to pull the dictionary file that I use for brute forcing from the other server to this one, but it miserably failed. So give me one sec while I figure out why it failed. Give me one sec, should be done in a sec here. Um, by the way, so it looks like this is also done. We did 122 screenshots out of the 128, I think, and 126. Four of them failed. Um, this one timed out for some reason. And these two had uh, 502s, timeout, timeout, and timeout. That's okay. No, nothing big. This is almost done pulling it. Let's have dot dot slash. Yeah, it looks like that other server just died for some reason. So I can't pull my dictionary. What we can do is, um, should we make our own? You guys wanna? You guys wanna make our own dictionary from other sites? We can do that too. We can use a uh, secless, for example, to do it. Okay, let's do secless. Uh, I'll just make one on the on the go. But using secless, it's not gonna have any extensions at the end of it. Oh, why do you fail me? There we go. So let's go ahead and see what we have. Get. Um, I guess Jason Haddix has an all.txt, let's see. This is enumeration tool, let's see. This is DNS enumeration though. This is a lot of, yeah, this is all subdomain enumeration. I don't wanna deal with that. We've already passed this. But if he has something for, oh, he has something, let's see what this is. The reason why I wanted to use mine is because mine has uh, a lot of stuff around API docs. And I've worked on that for a really long time for it to work. I think I got it this time, let's see. Okay, I think I got it this time, there we go. So, I made this thing a while ago with a bunch of other friends. It has 45,000 words in it. Um, it also has extensions. And um, this is also a good resource if you're looking for a good one. There's some really weird stuff in here, but um, at least he's referencing to APIs. I look for a lot of API stuff when I hack just because, you know, if there's an API problem, then more than likely we'll have some really cool bugs. So we can try doing a directory search really quickly. Let's give it an HTML folder and uh, let's run it on this one. So 45,000 in the words, at 100 threads, doing it with get, and we're just looking for HTML extension. And this is over, so what I'm gonna do is, what sucks is that I have two Aquatone reports. So we'll come back to these ones later. So let's go back to this folder. And uh, what is this? This is all the URLs that Aquatone used by the looks of it. 
and I want to go and look at all this. This is a lot of domains. Um, this is 843 domains. Uh, a lot of them are unique too. So what we're going to do is we're going to start gripping through it. So some of the stuff that I find interesting are things like admin. Um, obviously there's a lot of admin stuff here. And we'll start just looking at it manually before we go through screenshots. Be back later. Not sure why. No SSL cert on here. As far as we can tell. Okay, this is a random domain, just a test. I'm gonna kill Python really quickly. And we're gonna do directory search on this domain and we're gonna look for PHP, HTML, and see what it finds. The word list I have, um, it's not available online, but it's based on this. So I have gone in here, um, discovery, web content, and I've combined a ton of these into one, the raft ones especially. And it has a ton of files you can use. This has way more than I do, but it's, um, you can make your own from these. A lot of stuff that I've put together, the word list is from finding bugs, finding interesting endpoints in JavaScript files, and just adding them to my uh, word list. So these are all the admin ones that are interesting. What we, we should do is, so what I'm, so I'm going to do from now on is, we're going to make an interesting file, so we'll call it interesting, um, let's call it potential.txt. And we'll just add everything to potential. Okay. I also look for a lot of dev stuff, but I want to make a bash alias out of this and call it potential because I'm doing, I'm going to be doing this a lot and I'm tired of doing it manually. Actually, screw it. We'll just leave it at aqua tone. We don't gotta get fancy for this. We'll just look for the patterns right here. So I'm gonna call potential and just give it what to grip for. Okay. Okay. So we call it potential dev. And right off the bat, find some really interesting dev stuff. Really, really cool. Um, this seems interesting because it has development and it has insights. The keywords are what makes it interesting. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I spend more time going up like this and copy pasting things than I actually type, even though typing would be faster. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that's the same one that we looked at already. What does this one look like? Um, what does Opus look like? All of these are going to this. So this seems like to be, if we own this, we probably own a lot of these domains. Okay, let's keep on going. So I looked at dev, I looked at um, admin. What about UAT? Nothing. Um, API seems interesting, but it could be very, very messy. But this API QA, which is interesting too, because it's still not in prod. But it doesn't look like we have the API. What about we try Lugia? Nope. Um, we'll wait for this to be done, and then we'll run that on there too. This is the non-QA one. Let's see if this is up. So we have QA right here, which looks like this is how they name their QA domains. They do API QA keyword. 
but this is also not nothing's on there but we can also try this to see where it goes so url scans the only thing that's found it and it doesn't seem like it is anything on github either besides my own github repository maybe directory search will find some stuff this is going very very slow so i'm going to increase the threads on this again to make it a little bit faster with two with 200 threads and we're going to source okay. so we did api we did dev we did admin uat and we did qa So this one we've already seen. CalDAV is the calendar thing I haven't seen. Um, HuffPost, which is Huffington Post, I'm assuming, is on here as well. Give me some more keywords. What do you guys think we should look at? What are some other interesting keywords? Can you guys think of anything else? I wanna know what else we could look for uh, while I take a screenshot of or an image of this. I don't think there's gonna be any Jira on uh, Prod is a good one, yeah. I don't think Jira is gonna be useful for this case. Take a picture of this really quickly. Cool. Um, I like Prod, that was a good idea. Let's try Prod. So one of the things that I do actually here, I, I have a, so there's, a, there's been a lot of times where the error pages actually uh, spit out an XSS. So I've given it a really weird, not really weird, but some dramatic sub, uh, directory and I'm having a query for a blind XSS payload. So if it does fire in the context of an error page, it notifies my uh, blind XSS, uh, XSS Hunter um, instance. I picked up a couple of bones this way, easy bones to find. So let's try, um, So let's make it, yeah, I've, I actually have this alias for my bash. Let me, let's make it. What I'm gonna do is, let's finish our bash profile before we go anywhere. So we'll do profile, so we can open this. The profile would be, and then SP would be sourcing profile. S profile would be, Shout out to uh, Ethan Cruz for the idea. And then we're going to source it. So if I do profile, it comes here. And if I do S profile, oops, it doesn't. Cool. All right, let's go down this list you guys gave me. Um, let's do analytics. That was a good one. So we're going to do, shoot, what was it called? I forgot my own alias. Potential. Okay, let's do potential. Potential analytics. Look at that. Okay. Jira. I don't think there's going to be any Jira stuff on here, but let's give it a try. Why not? Nope. Prod is a very, very good one. I know so there's some good data on there. But we've seen some of this. But we've seen the dev sites, not the prods. Which ones? Let's see what this looks like. Because I've seen the dev site for this Insight Lab. And it's really bothering me that they all return nothing. Um, really? Let's do this. Source. Okay. Does this work now? Cool. So I'm gonna do a directory search on this, and let's kill, uh, I did it too much, kill all, minus nine, and we'll kill Python. So I'm gonna run this and just give it HTML for now to see what folders it finds. Cause I don't care about the files really right now. I wanna, f I wanna find the folders that have maybe API in them or V1, um, API docs, Swagger, whatever else we can find. So let this run its course and we'll see. Portal is a good one. Let's try Portal. Thank you, uh, Hack Your. 
Nothing for portal. That was a good try. Let's try alpha and stage. Nothing for alpha. Oops. There's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff for stage, which also makes me think there's probably stuff for STG. Watch. More. There we go. How much potential do we have so far? So far, let's see. Um, 206 sites that are potentially pretty good for us to go through. Beta. Okay, let's try beta. There we go. That was a good one. Thanks, J Don. Let's try uh, terminal. Not a whole lot. Test. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's try. <clears throat> Let's see what this looks like really quick. So it redirects um, right off the bat, but let's see if it redirects for a 404 page. Okay. That's all right. No big deal. I have not used a Jira GitHub tool that got released, JT. Um, DNS one, portal, server one, server. I don't really want to go after the NS. Um, patterns or CDN but I am gonna go after um, court there's a lot of stuff there I don't like this VPN stuff but who knows maybe once we have uh, so orange is going to be doing a talk on a bunch of VPNs during black hat maybe this would be something we can exploit once that's released let's do infra nothing for infra which is kind of depressing uh, we did QA CGI. Let's try it. Nothing for CGI. And then the last one is employee. Okay, let's try UI actually. Okay, we got UI. Um, secret. No. This is Yahoo. I don't think secret was gonna. But it's a good try. It's a good try. Okay, I think we have almost everything. Um, backend, we did dev already on infra, guys. Um, I don't think there's gonna be much on there. Um, DB is a good one, but depends on what context. Cause in the context of sandbox, it doesn't help. But sandbox itself is a good one to look at. Okay. Secret would have been fun, you're right. Very good call, JP. Good, good stuff, man. But there's nothing, unfortunately, on here for Splunk. I think that was... Where did we get Splunk from? Yeah, there's some stuff on Splunk, but I don't think that... Uh, I don't think these came back with anything, yeah. Yeah, it's there's nothing much on there. Okay, so we have what? Um, Three hundred and sixteen domains. Now let's go through so what I'm gonna do here I'm going to release my IP for you guys to actually look at the data with me, but if it does get doxed, if so, I mean, if it does, if it does, if it does start getting um, dosed, and if you guys are sending a lot of requests to it to be trolls, not that you guys will, I'm gonna take the server down and not show it. So keep in mind, I'm doing this so you guys could follow along with me and see all the data that I have as well. So I'm running it on port eight thousand and eight. And I have no idea what my IP address is. Hold on. One second, Chief. Almost got it. Okay, so this is the IP address. Again, remember, I'm doing this so you guys can follow along. All the data we have is all in here. If you want to grab it, go for it. You're more than welcome to. So nothing came up on here, but let's go through these domains. You guys ready?
Yeah, Aquaton wasn't working because the server I was running had didn't have a lot of resources, but since I got decent stuff, now it works. So nothing really interesting. Um, a lot of different weird sites. Ad reporter. This one kind of looks interesting, but I, because it has the word API, I think we already caught it in our other list. Let's give it a try, see if we have it already. You guys are just going at it, aren't you? I see all these weird uh, requests coming in. So um, let's go to Verizon Media folder again. So we did catch this already, we don't have to worry about it. So this one has not found and that is interesting to me. So I'm gonna just do a nano, shame on me for using nano and not then, but I'm gonna add that in there. If you go to the, uh, if you go to the other dates, someone's asking why all the files are only the TW ones. The older data is, um, it's another folder. This is taking way too long now. Did someone really mess with my server now? No, we're good, I think. No, we're okay. Um, a lot of the data is because the HK sets are coming up first because that's the last thing we worked on. I think if, if we go down more, we'll find more interesting stuff. So the four or three ones are really interesting, but I don't want to mess with it right now. So we'll skip it for now. Fantasy sports, 404s, not sure why. The screenshots aren't loading anymore. Let's refresh. Okay, there we go. Yeah, my screenshots aren't loading anymore for some reason. Oh boy, none of these screenshots load anymore. That is very unfortunate. Why is this happening now? Sorry guys, I'm gonna kill the server really quickly. The server itself is not struggling, it's just a web server, I think. The 403s are interesting because it's hiding whatever is behind it, and I want to be able to see what's behind that uh, 403. Okay, I think it's starting to load a little bit, we gotta give it some time. So let me just do a show more for it a bunch of times so it starts loading. Because we have so many domains, it's gonna take a while. All right, I sure can, here we go. Is that better? I took a server down, it's back up again, ZZ. Again, if you guys just wanna follow along without going to the URL, so you don't disturb this um, stream, just follow my stream on um, the video. And then afterwards, all of this would be on my GitHub, I promise. So you don't have to really um, look at them in parallel. I just wanted to make sure I share that with you guys in case you wanted to. So um, the 503s I usually ignore. This looks interesting because it's the first corporate domain we have seen that it hasn't really... Um, it's actually resolved. No screenshots, all right. Autos. 
advertising software money let's keep on going what is this uh, this is a uh, sunset side so it looks like this was taken down now Close announcement. Okay, moving on. API partners. This looks interesting. Ooh, okay. Um, this is small business. Yeah, I don't know if this is in scope. third party ad specs future none of these look really good ooh what is this one interesting so it's showing this without authentication It actually showed me the dashboard too. That's a pretty good one. But I think we have this in our interesting or potential. So we're gonna see if we have this. We do, okay. This seems like it has some problem just because it's a stage site. There's no login. Um, it directs you to log in after you see the dashboard so we can see if there's any other endpoints you can hit without being logged in. Yeah, Luminate used to be huge, man. Luminate used to be one of the ones that uh, people used to find a lot of crazy bugs on. There was a lot of uh, SSRFs, I think. Let's see. I think um, Sam did a lot of these. Yeah. Uh, ZLZ has done a lot of work on this site. There's a lot of them. And Doggy G also as well. So let's keep on going. Um, this doesn't look interesting. Smart TV, what is this? Okay, not that interesting. Admin, what is this? Oh, okay. It looks like it redirects, but I don't wanna give up on it yet, so let's just do a directory search on this, see what it finds. Again, I'm only doing HTML because I know what's in my word list. I'm looking more for interesting stuff, like folders, API docs, stuff like that. Dragonfly goes to Corp, which is fine. Stack choices, very interesting stuff. Who knows what's behind it? We'll come back and look at it. And also dev. So they have the same thing for it. So stage, prod, and dev. What else is on here? 404. Um, so I don't usually go after 404s, but because it's an API, uh, actually no, because it's behind login. If this is a login and it had API in it, I would go after it because I want to find those API endpoints. But we'll skip this one. There's a corporate messenger site. What is this? How does this work on this site, but not ours? I got timed out for my own server. What the crap? All right, well, it's interesting because this loaded without prompting for login. Um, 
when Aqua Tone hit it, but when we hit it, it doesn't load. Okay, we'll skip. We'll leave it alone for now. Yeah, this one, uh, we'll have to look at it later. Uh, Pwn Pwn, what kind of tools are you using for domain enumeration? So I spent three weeks on domain enumeration. Uh, if you want to have a look on what I do, every Monday I release um, the stream videos, the videos on demand. Uh, check them out. They're pretty long, but you'll get the idea of what I'm doing. But I did a lot of cert.sh, um, sublister, and amass so far. So a lot of Yahoo Mail. A lot of, lot of stuff here. Ooh, okay. I think this is something we found during the last stream. Uh, actually, I'll leave it alone. This is a dupe probably anyways. This was found in my first stream, but there's three of them. There is prod, stage, and prod and stage. That's it. This is the same one. Um, this is leaking metrics and threads on the server. Someone filed it already, I think. So these are the sites I've never understood. It looks for uh, authentication, but I've never seen anything interesting on them. I am gonna look for this on Google real quick. Cert DB and that's it. So it looks like from this admin site, the only thing that hit was a admin or status.html. Return it okay. Not too interesting. What else? Um, powered by Yahoo and count content. Let's see what this is. Access denied. Is this just some? Uh, let's just see what what's behind this. Ah, oh, it's just CloudFront. Could be some AWS thing. We'll leave it alone. Wow, so you filed it and it was a dupe? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, those are some really easy low hanging fruit you can find. So this is why I do my subdomain enumeration. Then I look at screenshots because we find stuff like the metrics thing right here, just by looking at the screenshots really quickly. Where is it? It was ADX, right? ADX. So you find stuff like this very quickly by just looking at your, um, for screenshots but let's just take it a further step so we looked at these already let's see what else is here we've looked at all this okay search not important this is an API <clears throat> and it's giving us forbidden so we can try and see what's behind it and a little bit after this is done. Maybe we'll find some APIs. Yeah, the memory dump on that thing doesn't look like uh, anything juicy is inside of it. <clears throat> so it's probably not getting prioritized by their teams. Hello world. That screams sketchy to me. is still going so what I would do right now um, for example for that ADX domain that we just found here, let me just try it right here what I wanted to show you guys is this if it loads so if you go to this is a dupe, don't go file it. But what I would do is I would literally copy this endpoint and dump it into my, I would dump that into my, uh, 
word list that I have. So this way, anytime I'm looking for stuff, this comes up. So this is how I populated my word list. Let's copy this thing and dump it in here. So right now it's not picking up on metrics anywhere. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna echo it into the file that I have. So we're gonna do echo. Um, metrics so if I do it now it should pick it up and I have a bunch of other ones I think yeah it should have picked it up at some point but it didn't and also for threads you can just do so if we run it again it should find it let's directory brute force this one now this is the site that says hello when you go to it it looks sketchy because it looks like they're working on this for something but we don't know what's behind it so Uh, this is on yahoo.net hack your um, I don't think yahoo.net is in scope Is that everything we already went through everything that we had Wow, okay, looks like we went through all the subdomains Let's see by host Let's go through it one quick time again one last time really quickly Looks like you got cold. Take care. I don't know what that means. So it's not finding a whole lot on uh, this, but let's keep on going. Let's see where it goes. This API thing for tripod is really bothering me because it gives a 4 or 3 or it wants authorization. So anything we give it, it's going to ask for authorization. Not a whole lot. Okay, keep, let's keep going. So what we can do next is I'm going to kill off this server in a sec and I'm going to just screenshot all the things that we listed that were interesting to us. So we've seen all this it looks like. What is this? I think this is also a sunsetting site. No longer in use. Ads at yahoo.com. What about ads at yahoo.com? What I want to know is why isn't there a screenshot on this? Uh, this goes with VZ Builders. I think this is owned by Verizon Media, then I assume, but this might be an interesting one to look at later. Ooh, we forgot about ops. what we find here there's some potential there can you check out this link webtech skype dot dell no I can't check out dell man I'm not hacking on dell <sighs> poops yeah potential plus ops means poops so this is interesting because this is a YQ internal console whatever that means So 
So it looks like they're already giving us a path. We don't have to look for it. So let's try... Um, let's do a directory search on this. Instead of um, HTML, I'm going to give it JSON because we're going after a an API. Not that I expect any JSON files, but someone saying ads at yahoo.com gives an error code. Let's see. I just could not connect to localhost. Interesting. Yeah, we get the same thing here. So one of the things that I like to do with um, with Yahoo is you can give it a bunch of weird stuff like uh, same thing. I'm gonna give it the wrong IP, but <clears throat> and also do the same thing with host to see if it makes a difference. Not a whole lot of different. So I'm not sure why that error is happening. It could be something on their end. We'll have this keep on running. We don't need this. Okay, one last time on this, and then we're gonna get out and go towards the juicy stuff that we found. Facebook has a football fantasy sports site. So let's add this to our potential. I'll explain why I'm adding all these domains to potential in a sec. There's a lot of forbiddens here, but it's under mail, so I don't really care. Golf fantasy groups. Let's see. There's an admin deals right here. I don't know what, I think this is just for whoever has an access to this um, deals.com uh, site, deals at yahoo.com site. Has anyone found anything interesting that I've missed during these screenshots? Anyone? Page not found. This used to be an actual domain that used to uh, have a lot of stuff on it. Let's Google for it real quick. See what's on GitHub. That's someone's uh oh that's Arcadi's files. Okay, nothing interesting comes up for it. The four or threes are interesting depending on where you are. So something like mail.yahoo.com doesn't look really that good um, I'm searching for anything that I've taken a screenshot of that looks uh, interesting to me and I'm explaining why they look interesting to me as I go the internal console for mall.hq but nothing came up so it looks like it found some stuff right we have schema parse there's a test folder and there's another test folder right here let's see where this goes four or three for bed and that's okay um what about parse 
and 404, but it said it existed. Oh, it's not on their test. Another 403. Let's do another um, one last directory of brute force on this. See what it finds. This is the one that we looked at earlier and let us log in, not log in and look. So if I were to hack on this now, um, these would be very interesting to look at, these JavaScript files. I would probably grab these JS files one by one and feed them into my JS parser tool to see what is in here. But I don't want to do that live. So we'll just leave it at that. But I am gonna directory brute force this in a while, in a sec. So let's do uh, another screen and have it do directory search. Really? Let's leave these two alone for now, we'll come back to it. Um, if I, I'm not looking for actual vulnerabilities, L pawn, pawn L. Um, I'm trying to show my process of how I find these things that I find interesting. But if I were to find a vulnerability, yes, I would submit it through HackerOne. So anytime I see something um, getting redirected to another domain, I always automatically just give it an invalid path just to see if it 404s or not. Let's do this private site. Did we look at private for... Let's try and look at private. So let's go in um, to our recon data. I want to see if we have any private in there. No, okay, let's try private. Potential private. Hey, YV. Thank you. I didn't notice that teacher I was wearing. Here's what the teacher it says. There we go. Let's do VIP, all right. Let's do potential for VIP. Potential VIP. Lots of stuff. Um, let's get a count, 314. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna quit on this thing. I'm gonna kill the Pi server that we have. So it no longer is gonna be accessible by anybody. shouldn't be able to access this anymore. And what I'm going to do now, once this is completely over, we're gonna focus on the sites that um, are in our potential site. Um, I don't know if this was a, I think this was given out at NoCon by HackerOne, but I just got one and I figured I'll wear it. almost over nothing too interesting I think there's some API stuff behind this we could hit so someone should look into this if they're interested um, especially the dev site that we came up with earlier all right so this is over let's kill this session
Okay, so what I'm gonna do next now is we are going to let's make a potential we're gonna read all this we're going to give it a sort and we're gonna have Aquaton do some magic and then we're gonna go oops hold up where is the path for it hold on one sec there's my path There we go. We're gonna have this uh, run, and then we're just gonna focus on the data from this. Also, as always, if you guys are new to the stream, um, let's do this. If you're new to the stream, um, you can always go to my Discord where everyone's involved in talking. Um, there's always a lot of good questions. You can just click on this and it will take you to it. What's up, Z? Um, you can also go ahead and follow along and get a $50 Digital Ocean credit by going to my link. Um, it will give you free credit if you want to use the same thing as I am. Um, most of these tools that I have online, uh, that I'm using are online somewhere in my GitHub. So it shouldn't be that hard to install it. But I'm also thinking about starting a new recon, or not recon, I wanna start a new stream day um, where I get a blank, completely empty digital ocean box and set up, set up all my tools, install Go, install Python, and everything else. I'm not sure if it's something I want to do yet, so let me know if you think it's interesting and you want me to do it. Uh, it will help me know. Uh, it will help me find out the stuff that you want. You guys want to do. Um, so, also let me know what you guys really want to see other streams to do. I'm trying to do some more stuff on uh, doing my streams, but I kind of also want to know what you guys want to hear and what is valuable to you guys when we do it. I'm surprised Security B hasn't said anything today. Security B, are you here at all? You've been very quiet. Um, I might do a video on my YouTube channel uh, about this. Um, I'm working on a how to get started in bug bounty video. I've been working on it for a couple of weeks now. That's kind of why I've been so quiet on YouTube. Um, but this one I'll make it probably afterwards. Security B is here. He's they're just being very, very quiet. <laughs> oh, nice. That sounds really fun. This is going strong. There's a lot of stage in the UI sides. I feel like we didn't see a lot of these on Aquatone's report earlier. Also, tomorrow I might get on again and uh, work on some more uh, fingerprinting. I'm working on a tool for it, so it would help me also do a little bit of work. It'll be 8.30 my time, so about nine hours from now, tomorrow, whatever your time zone is, just add nine hours. Uh, well, not nine hours, one day and nine hours. 33 hours, I'll be on doing some more uh, screenshotting or sorry not screenshotting more uh, fingerprinting so while this is running I'm gonna pause my audio and video and go get a coffee so you guys keep watching this I'll be right back
Yeah, I know Aquatone has a lot of uh, features, but um, I don't know. My, my way of doing recon is very, very weird. I like to focus on search transparency a lot more than actually brute forcing for things, but that's just me. Cool. 314. This is done. Um, let's just have a look at it, I guess. You guys ready? Um, the Linux line, how do you know it won't get you in trouble? I do it once, man. I send the, you know, I'm sending 45,000 requests, um, at once and I leave if I don't find anything. You can send a header that says, uh, with directory search, you can actually add a header that says like, let me show you. So you have this option right here. And you can actually say, you can create your own header. If you're worried about it, you can say, um, bug bounty H1, your username, if you don't want to get in trouble. Some programs, like programs like Yahoo, programs like Yahoo that are more mature, expect this kind of thing. I'm not saying go and like send hundreds of thousands of requests, but sending 40,000 requests isn't a whole lot. If you were doing 400,000 requests and you know, four with four different machines in parallel, that's a different story. But um, with 45,000, uh, you should be okay. And I'm also not going after like the major sites really. If I see a site's unstable, I leave it alone. Uh, I monitor some of the sites while I do this. Does that make sense? And Fenris, uh, I would like to know what features you were also referring to for the Ruby one. If it is something that's cool, we can use it as well. Yeah, I could be with anything though, right? It's, does it do it the same way with this? Oh, no. Could be because of uh not sure why but we'll look at it later all right so we finished this we're gonna run our pi server but i'm not gonna do it on this screen so the ips don't get shown so let's kill it all and give it a pi server and let's look at these data that we have So what we did earlier, if you're new to the stream right now, we looked at all the domains that look very interesting to us. We listed them all based on keywords, gripping for those keywords, and we had to do screenshots. So what I mean by that is, so clear, and we'll go to CD Potential. So we were gripping for all of our domains that we have found so far. And we were just saying, hey, look for anything that has API in it, anything that has the word DB in it, UI, internal, sandbox, you name it. So it gives us a very interesting list of things to find. Okay. A lot of them gets redirected to yahoo.com, it looks like. Oops, something went wrong. What is this? Let's see. This looks like a WordPress thing, but So none of these look that look like there is anything super trivial so far. At least not on Yahoo.com. Stage login. 
The only reason why it's interesting is because it's in a stage site. Who knows what's behind it? Hey, Ashron. Um, someone sent a Yahoo APIs.jp, but unfortunately, because it's on that JP, I don't think that's in scope. Um, but looking at it quickly, it looks like there's some API. Um, so this was this came in from the chat, but I don't know. It's well. Not at a first glance with this. I don't think it is that interesting. It could be, um, but it all comes down to what other endpoints is calling. Um, so it looks like this is what it is. You'd have to find out what the root directory, the routes are, not the root, the routes are, and see if it leaks any API endpoints, and see what kind of access you get from those API endpoints. But again, that is out of scope. Um, I don't know if I would look at it to be honest. Should we? Uh, I really want to look at this a little bit. Let's see what we find on here. I don't have any tools to do this quickly with, but. And I don't think anything was found on. Um, let's do this once and for all. Let's just do it. I really think there's something behind this just because of the fact of, uh, just because of how it looks, first of all. I, I didn't expect to not have to log in and just present me the app. So I'm gonna do that one more, one more time just to see what it finds. I know I did this earlier, but let's do it one more time. Hey, Extreme Buster, how's it going? Dragonflycorp.yahoo.com goes to Okta. Same thing with this, it looks like. So we looked at this earlier. There was some errors on here. We'll have that go next. Um, I'm making a note of this to look at it later. Um, these Taiwan sites aren't showing much. There's nothing on the source it looks like. A blank page. We'll look at this one too. It could be something interesting, unless there's no 404. Yeah, there is some stuff on here. It looks like we'll have a look at it after this. Um, I also have to look at this site. Where is it? I don't expect to see much from this, but we'll give it a try. What makes you think we should directory brute force uh, csp.yahoo.com? It's interesting to see sites like Finance say we'll be right back. Or well, it's a big part of Yahoo, but who knows? This site looks Huge. I've seen this car, uh, this site before, the used site. I wouldn't expect to find anything with directory brute forcing this, but I suspect there's some stuff on here. This one again, we looked at already.
Let's do a UI vault site. Let's see what comes up on Google. Not a whole lot. What about payment? Nothing interesting. Hey Knight, how's it going? So this is giving us nothing, but this is the login for it. This is the site that keeps redirecting us to AOL. Yep. We already seen this. This is um not sure what will be on here, but we can find out. Let's see if anything on the YQL site comes up. Yeah, I'm number one for Valve on Hacker One, but I haven't really hacked on that site in a very long time. I bet we can find some stuff on GitHub for this. Let's see. Random Robbie. Let's see what he has. Looks like he's done the similar thing as we have. Tons of domains, tons and tons. But I'm, what I'm looking for here is to see if there's anything on GitHub that shows us any routes for um, YQL. Maybe we can look for the word API. Let's uh let's exclude random Robbie from this. And um what is this? Nothing interesting. I'm gonna exclude this right here. There we go. So there is a YQL show tables, but I want to know if it comes up here. 404. Nope. Let's look at the raw. Oh, it's freezing now. Come on. And I just killed my browser. There we go. Um, I really want to find something on this YQL thing. So V1. Where is it? This? No. Doesn't seem like that's there. It all comes back with 404. What if we, uh, let's see, what domain is this on? So it's on video media yql. Let's see if this is still up. Oh, it's still up. Okay. So this route is only working on video that media, but we haven't found anything for this internal. Well, what it seems to be internal. YQL console. I want to know if there is a, let's see, if there is a guide for it. So it looks like each of these are being treated differently and they're all on different subdomains.
Is there a YQL folder here? Let's see. Nothing yet. So let's keep on looking at this. Um, we can try all DNS at a different time. I haven't had it set up yet. But I'll keep that in mind for another day. So, let's see. Video media still has... So we know how this works now, at least. But it doesn't mean it works on the internal one. I want to look at the internal. Because this one says it's internal on the index page. This is how we learn uh, how to use this um, YQL stuff. Um, there's an internal one right here. Let's see. But I don't think... Uh, the same syntax would work on this. So let's see. It says it's internal, but who knows? So the same syntax works. I mean, I don't expect this to be a vulnerability, but my whole thing is I want to understand what this site is supposed to do and reproduce it on other domains so let's look at this one now um, all right not a whole lot we can come back to this later let's try uh, this one so this had nothing interesting on it very unfortunate Some VPN stuff, it's good to have these organized just in case somebody drops a vuln on a VPN or a third party software. It would help us out. Recommendation API, that's what this is. This one too. A lot of these just give errors for nothing, but I suspect something is more than likely behind them. We just gotta find them. Let's look at more. Oh, that's it. All right, so let's do a couple more brute force and see where it goes. Oh, I'm missing a ton of subdomains because of this. I'm not even scrolling to the right. But it looks like it's just bunching all of them together because they're similar. So I guess this got all bunched together because um, something looked similar to the other ones. Maybe the title or the headers are the same. Also, I'm curious to know, um, Staz, I think is your name. How, why would you actually? Why are you interested in all DNS? Ooh, what is this? Assess this? Nope. But we can directory brute forces. So once this is done, we'll just do more brute force. We can also make a list of all of these and have a directory brute force without having to do it one by one. But I want to look at more of these. There we go. What's this? Some Java errors. This is interesting just because of the stack trace. So it looks like it's expecting us to go to yeah, yam plus API. It is on the same domain, but maybe we can brute force this too. Um, there's two of these, we'll leave it alone. One of them is enough.
What is this? It's tools. I wonder what tools these are. I wonder if these reflect anywhere. Nope. I think we already messed with that one before. I used it recently and it helped me find a ton of more subdomains. I fed it with 1,000 resolved subdomains and I was able to find 7,000 more. Wow, was that on Yahoo? Yeah, the source showed the VF one. It's a true host for it that it's, uh, it's pointing to. But I assume it's the same thing if we go to it. What is this one? 404, no screenshots though. Interesting, we'll look at this afterwards. And another 410, what is 410 again? It's gone. A server return response from the request resource has been permanently removed. It could be kind of 404, so let's see if it 404s on other endpoints. No. Okay, we'll leave this one alone. Um, it does say staging, but it's under media. I don't know what the media site does. So, no, it was on Uber. Yeah, I'm thinking about. Um, so, this week, let's see. So, when is Vegas? Um, DEF CON 2019 dates. August 8th. So, the week of... This week, I will not be doing any streams. But when I come back, I might be doing um, another target. Maybe Uber, if they could give me an approval. Um, but just keep in mind, the week of August 8th, all the way through that Sunday, I won't be doing any streams since I'll be in Vegas. But if you want to follow me on my Instagram, I'm going to do some Instagram live with friends that are in Vegas as well. I'm focusing on Yahoo because they have the biggest uh, attack surface and they have a lot of domains. So we figured we'll do it. We'll start with Yahoo and eventually move to other targets. Why does this look so weird? Okay, let's see our directory search. Well, how did it go? Not so good. Let's try this one. This looks really interesting because of the fact that there's nothing showing. Not even the generic will be right back. Apologies if I'm going way too fast. I think Stoke is in San Francisco right now. There was a live bug bounty thing going on in San Francisco. Um, let's see if we can uh, give him a call. Let's try it real quick. Stoke. Hey dude, are you awake? You might be either hungover or busy working on other stuff. But if he does text me, maybe we could do a live with him really quickly. I think next week when I come back and we do this live thing, I'm going to start looking at the, um, the uh, IP space. Um, see what we find on their IP addresses instead of just going after um, certificates. I think that would be very, very helpful. We might do some showdown. Um, who knows? So these are all coming back as be right back. Interesting and not interesting in the same sense because I can't tell by the first glance like if I want to keep on looking at them. This is still going. Why do I call him by the name Glenn? So 
So these are all going to be VPNs. I don't think we need them. Yeah, this is all VPN sites. A lot of auction sites. Lots and lots of auction sites. So everything here is behind login except this thing. Let's see what this is. It was on media, so I don't know. Uh, oh, of course. Okay, nothing interesting. So lots of 401s here and 403s. 401, probably we don't have access to it. 403 because they don't want us to have access to it. Um, weird. Nothing on there. Let's keep on running some other stuff. Swedish, Swedish joke that everyone from Gothenburg is named Glenn. All right, if he does answer the text that I sent him, we'll call him Glenn. I don't want to call him and wake him up. Um, maybe he's watching this, who knows? If he was watching, he'd probably say something, though. Uh, we're going to keep that. So this is still going... Let's leave it alone for now. <clears throat> also, if you're not familiar with Stoke, um, let me show you guys who Stoke is. This lovely human being does some really cool stuff on YouTube. I would definitely, definitely suggest looking at his videos. Um, this is not my real account, but on my other account, I'm subscribed. Check him out. This is his channel. Um, really good stuff. Very cool dude. Um, check him out. He was live on Instagram 24 minutes ago. Wow, okay. Well, maybe he's doing something right now. If he replies, we'll catch him. I think my message got delivered, so maybe more than likely he is, yeah, he's doing something. All right, so this one has prod in it, and I wonder what it would be. I'm mostly looking to see if there's any internal or prod references to this. Not a whole lot of them. All right, moving on. It's kind of hard to, uh, you know, have the balance of looking at stuff without crossing any lines of actually finding vulnerabilities. So that's kind of why I'm <clears throat> ignoring the whole um, looking deeper into these hosts. Tons of times of YQL stuff. Palms data, EC search, it's all internal stuff. So all the TV domains that we've already seen, the finance, what's on here? So look, a lot of these things are just pointing to an access denied. And it looks like we're finding some stuff on uh, this live chat thing. Let's see. Um, hey, Extreme Buster. That's a great question. Um, I will answer this in a couple of minutes, in the 30 minutes, just so I can focus on this. And um, before I get off, I'll do a QA and answer that as well. So home is there, but nothing comes up. Um, absolutely nothing. But I wonder if there's something for order. So order is on, it's actually up, it responds. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so it gives you a key, I don't know what this is. I'm afraid of trying it, but 
It's giving us a live chat, but it goes to 404. Um, maybe it's case sensitive? Nope. Cool, so it looks like this live thing, this is something I would focus on, depending on you know what else I find. Um, it looks like orders should have some other stuff, but let's see what else is found. So we'll ignore everything that's going to the uh, error page. But anything outside of that, interesting. I listen to what the back end is now. This is interesting because it sends you to a web agent. Agent, web agent. Let's see. And it requested to go to port 999. Is that port available on here? Oops. Where'd I go? I don't think the port 999 is accessible from here. So looking at a first glance, it looks like this is what it's expecting. But when we go do it, it gives us an error. Yeah. Invalid link. It's a dead link, it says. OK, at least we have something from it. What is yahoo.html? It says it exists. And this is interesting. It just completely took us to something different. I have no clue what any of this is now. <clears throat> Welcome to Yahoo Shopping Center. Please click below to serve you. So it looks like we went from, we went from a website that showed nothing like this to finding this customer portal. Oh, look at this Rusty guy. What's up, Rusty? So, again, what, what I wanted to show was we went from, this is why I would like to do the process of finding stuff and then doing a directory brute force. And the reason that is, is at a first glance and looking at the source even for the site, absolutely nothing here. But doing a little bit of directory brute forcing, we found an upload folder, which is a 403, but still good. We found there's a customer folder like this, which I'm going to directory brute force really quickly and see what what's behind it. Um, so... This is where we can start looking for things like XSS. I'm putting just a apostrophe in there. And then right here, I'm looking to see where it went. Um, the reason why I put an apostrophe was I was expecting this to be inside of a um, script. So I wanted to see if I could escape out of it with my first try. But this gives you an idea of what to look for and how to look for it. Um, what do you mean, JP? Give me an example. I uh, drop the link if you want me to try it out. Interesting stuff. Um, so if I were to be looking for XSS here, um, this is my go-to. Is I just do this is actually something Zayat does a lot and got me into the habit of doing. I just drop a test one two three in there, and if it does an error, then it gives me an error, um, like this one. So, go back to the page with the go button that had an order ID, that GUID, use that in the channel. Oh, right here, okay, let's see. This one. Order. This goes to product list, order ID. So you want me to throw the order ID in here? GitHub helps you recon by finding previously um, 
previously discovered information it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that it's uh, you're gonna find vulnerabilities but it means if someone was developing something and um, they put it on github it gives you some routes and apis it looks like this didn't work um, JP I mean it worked but it broke something in the page So let's, let me show you what I mean by GitHub. You can always go on GitHub and do it, or you can just do this. But unfortunately, nothing is found other than my own uh, GitHub. Yeah, it was definitely worth a try. I can't really fuzz this too much because of the fact that we're live. Um, but we'll see. So this is really, really cool stuff on this. Um, it looks like we haven't found much on customer. This is something that I would definitely spend a lot of time on. Um, just messing and seeing how it reacts to anything I give it. But what I don't get is why this is not working. Um, oh well, we'll move on. What's up, Donut? Hundred Sunday, dude. Did this uh, process of discovering orders help anybody so far? I'm curious to know. Like, does this make sense on why and what to do? Because, I mean, we legit went from a site that had nothing shown to us to finding some interesting stuff that leaks data. So, let's try this thing. Um, it gives us YAM plus API. Um, GoBuster is a very great tool, you're right, but I just prefer directory search because I've been really used to it. So this is Java. Let's just try stuff like... Weird shit like this. Um, I will definitely give GoBuster a try. I think I'm gonna start a stream where we just try random tools and compare them. But so this is right off the bat giving us a lot of cool stuff. Um, API docs would have been very very cool if it was up. Um, what's up, Tony? Haven't seen you in a while. I uh, look at accounts add an alert on here too, but it all expects something. But th with, with the chat, with the stack trace we're getting, um, it gives us a lot of good data on it. Not data, but it could be useful at some point. So they're using Spring of some sort. Um, let's see, Spring Framework. I think this is what they're using, but I wonder if I can find Spring Framework API, maybe? So it gives us a lot of stuff we could look at because of this. And also, it's giving us back whatever we put in here. So it could be useful to see if we can do anything with uh, Spring. CTF's hard. Uh, you didn't do any DNS brute forcing. No, there, I would usually do DNS uh, brute forcing. And the reason why I didn't do it on Yahoo because of how big it is. There's a creative endpoint. I don't see Swagger here. Where did you see Swagger UI on HTML? Are you suggesting that it should be up there? Yahoo is Verizon Media, correct. This is 404. This got 401. Let's see if we find anything on um, Google for this, actually. What 
Oh, look at that. So Verizon Media itself has documentation on this, which is great. Um, CTFs are fun. I have a really cool idea around CTFs that I will announce late, later on, uh, maybe after DEFCON. I don't play any CTFs myself. I am really bad at them. But things may change. There we go. It looks like they're giving us some routes. Um, was it a traffic folder yet? No. I haven't seen R. We're in R. So maybe we'll find traffic somewhere here and we'll see if it's on here too. But it looks like stuff like seats are... This is the API documentation for what we just found. Let's see if traffic exists on this. Um, like this, maybe? Let's try and see if this gives us anything. So it looks like that is up, but it's giving us a 401. Um, so I think we can probably find a token for this. Let's see. Can we find a token for it? I think we'll have to get an account on Ad Manager Plus in order for that to work. So if we make an account here, maybe we can eventually look at it. So at least we figured out what the site does. We just gotta get a token. How does uh, authentication work? So we have to have a license to that site in order for it to work. And because I don't have a license to it, I'm just gonna give it a closing tab and move on from it. But interesting, interesting stuff that I see here is, um, first of all, this redirects to yahoo.com and also there's two things that could potentially work there's a search on here but I assume is this a 401 it's a 405 isn't it yeah so I assume if we do something like um, So now it requires to be authorized. Yep. So we need to get a token for this. We'll just leave it alone. Cool. Let's go back to the screenshots that we were looking at earlier. Looks like a lot of these are getting redirected to yahoo.com. Positivity, positivity in life equals does not equal money. It doesn't, but um, I'll tell you that much, Panda. If you uh, perspective, man, it makes a huge difference. Perspective is a huge part of anything you do in life. If you're going with the mentality of I'm not gonna find you know any bugs tonight, um, you sure aren't going to find a bug more than likely because you're already sucking yourself out. Which tool gives you this fancy screenshot? This is Aquatone. Um, this right here. By the way, I'm curious. Anybody from India watching right now? Um, is there any lag? Is the lag better? I've been really trying to make it better for everybody to watch. So let me know if you're from India and you have any issues. Am I lagging, YV? Awesome. Cool. Can somebody tweet this out for me so people will stop telling me that it lags on Twitch? I get so much hate mail for using Twitch. I get so much hate mail every time I do a stream on Instagram, on Twitter. I get hate mail saying, hey, you should not do it on 
uh, on Twitch because it's laggy, but. Uh, someone from India, tweet me, please. I'm going to retweet you just so I have proof for all my Indian followers to understand that I fixed it. So maybe that will get less hate mail. So please, at me. <laughs> Brazil's okay, perfect. UK, France. Ooh, I want to see where everyone's coming from. Send me more locations. Ah, France in here. We have UK, Italy, Morocco. Hello from Morocco. Holy crap. Germany, Brazil, UK, West Coast, US, no lag. West Coast is the best coast. Mexico, Sweden. Let's do a little. Let's see how international our uh, viewership is really quick. I'm going to get screens. I'm going to get a video of this if you guys don't mind. Let's see. Uh, what? One sec. Let me see. Let's do a regular photo really quick. My screen is so dirty. I don't know if you guys could see this. Look at that. My screen looks so dirty on my computer. <laughs> Chile from mobile, perfect. And he's India, there we go. Tunisia. Moroccan pen testers, love you. Thanks, love you guys back. Sweden for the win. You sweeties are nice. What's up, Glenn? I'm gonna call a cunt, Glenn. What's up, Glenn? All right, that's what this directory brute for. So there's a ping and a token that's giving us, oh, that's interesting. It's a dev site with a token service that has a token endpoint. Watching from links on command line. So let's see what this gives us. Curl X, let's give it a post. It's empty data, let's see what it gives us. 415, what the crap? Um, let's not give it any data. Uh, not a valid JW, only the media type is supported. Okay, well, you don't gotta tell me twice. Um, let's do this one more time. So what, we send it a content type and set it to this? That's all it's asking? Let's try it. What, let's do content type. Whoa, what did I do? Okay, so. And then let's have it print. Could not find resources for, what are we talking about? What? Is my computer tripping? What's going on? This should work, right? Chat, anyone wanna fix this for me? Ah, I'm not giving a token, that's why, duh. It says application is required. Oh my God. Thank you, uh, X or XL. So now it says could not be parsed. Now we're getting a different error. Interesting. Um, again, I can't help the curiosity, but also I can't do any of this live. But I'm assuming this requires me to send it a JWE um, in the post request. So I'm gonna leave it alone, but I wanted to show what I would do if I find this stuff, um, how I would approach it. So we'll leave it alone for now. Um, you guys are welcome to do this on your own if you'd like. Again, I can't submit any bugs to Yahoo. 
Um, I don't plan on submitting anything on Yahoo. So if you guys find anything from the streams that are useful to you, you are more than welcome to submit them. And it looks like there's not much left on this. There's some payment stuff here. Nothing too juicy. Let's see what this is. I mean, depends. Uh, yeah, I would start sending it like, uh, I would start doing a <clears throat> like this. And then I would probably say something like um, just that to see what it does. Sometimes it might want to. So because it's expecting, it's already telling us it's um, JSON. Then uh, what I would do is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Just start doing random clap like that. It's just mostly to see if it reacts in any different ways. But I was, I would definitely start fuzzing this. Um, so this is what we're sending it. Um, it could also be that it's requiring a put. Who knows? We can try it here. And we'll move this to the front of it. So it's not a put. Um, it tells you allows options and posts in the header. So. Um, this is, yeah, this is, would be my process of trying to f make sense of this. We can also do something like, um, let's see what comes up. Mm. Not a whole lot, but let's see what this is. There's some weird sites on here. But this is literally how I do a lot of my work is trying to find one thing that looks interesting and then in that process of making sense of what that interesting thing is, I will go and look at stuff like GitHub, like right now, and see what kind of stuff I find and then it leads me to other domains that may look interesting. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, there's a lot of stuff here. That this person actually works on works for Verizon Media, so if we do find anything, it is more than likely going to be something internal, because they work at um, Verizon Media, who owns Yahoo. Um, yeah, looks like this person has a lot of stuff on here that we could go through. I like calling this uh, digital dumpster diving. Uh, it helps. It, it's mostly to make sense of things that I don't understand. Um, but this person has been very friendly to give us all this. Um, I want to find this token thing on Yahoo, but let's do this. This is what it was looking for, right? It wants us to give it a JWE, not JWT. So times like this when I'm desperate, this is where I start looking for things. Um, let's make sure this is Yahoo. Is this Yahoo or not? Let's see who this is. Toyota connected. I'm not gonna mess with it. But finding that um, JW would be very helpful. At least it's very verbose and we know what's going on. All right, let's move on from this host. Let's try this, let's see what's on here. Um, right at about 12.30, I'm going to stop um, doing this recon stuff. Do a qu quick QA before I hop off. Um, let's try pastebin.com um, for this site. Let's just do this. Let's see what comes up.
I'm gonna play with this a little bit after I get off. If I find anything, I'll let you guys know. Um, you're also welcome to join Discord and we can talk about this more during my, um, when I'm not streaming. Because I only have uh, seven more minutes that I want to spend on the fuzzing part of the stream, I wanna go through all these really quickly so we can do some QA before I get off. And I'm also going to post, uh, I'm going to post the stream from last week tomorrow on my YouTube channel as well. So if you missed it last week, it will be on my um, YouTube. Thank you for the tip, Ethan. Um, I'm gonna skip just for now, just because if it does work, I don't know what it's gonna, what what's gonna happen. So I don't wanna accidentally find a bug on the uh, stream. Um, not a whole lot of interesting things. So I know a couple of people replied. Um, I still want to know anyone else going to DEF CON. I really want to meet up with some people. I'm going to be there from, I think, Tuesday to Monday. Um, so if you're going to be there, let's meet up. Let's hang out. Let's hack some stuff. Magna Logan, how's it going, dude? That's cool though. That's still a good thing, man. There's always an next year. That's really cool though. Where is everyone staying? Are you guys staying at a on the strip? Off the strip? Um Are you guys night owls like I am or early risers like I'm not? Oh, nice. You're going to H1702. Cool. I'll be there. Ooh, what is that? So maybe we can do something. Uh, maybe we can do something on this trip. Oh, what's up, dude? K. Nice to see you popping in here. So... This came up, let's see. Hosting's gonna be the same more than likely. Oh, TP2. Okay. Um, I can't talk about the 702 scope. I don't know if it's public information, but if any of this is in scope for H1702, uh, I will definitely have it on GitHub. I plan on posting all this on my GitHub anyways. Um, so if you're going to 702, if you're not going to 702 and you want to use the data, you're more than welcome to. I don't think Stoke is awake anymore. Where is this guy? Okay, this handsome guy. Who's this guy? Anyone know this guy? He is very rusty, yeah. That fine gentleman is very, very rusty. So it looks like this host doesn't have a whole lot either. Um, 60%, not bad. Let's take that a little bit ago. So the live hacking events at uh, Hacko One is when they have a particular set of customers. Um, they give you a scope and you hack on them live and everybody from that company is there too. So while this goes on, let's, let me show you a live hacking event, Hacko on H1702. Let's look at the video from last year. 
Since people are asking about it. Let me kill this music off really quick. Alright, let's look at... This is from... Um, 10 months ago, there we go. Let's look at it. Yeah, but I mean, you have to understand, this is a, this is a group of trusted folks. Oh, look at that. Where's my music? Uh, where's my chat? One more question. Why are the names like that? So... The names are based on the area code. If you look at some groups like DEF CON, they also have the same um, idea. You go DEF CON area code is a group of that DEF CON name, or a name for that DEF CON group, rather. <clears throat> so that's the idea. It's, it, it represents the city or the country that we have gone to. 615 uh, six being Singapore, 702 being Vegas, 415 being San Francisco, and so on. Um, this is a WebSocket folder. I don't expect anything to be in there, but like I said, I wanted to end this at 12:30, so um, I think I'm gonna end this right about here. Um, who was it that asked me how I got started in bug bounties? Magno Logan, do you know how the SF bug bash went? Um, so that was actually another company that did it. Uh, because of my involvement with Hacker One, or that's what I assumed. Um, because of my involvement and working at Hacker One, I don't get invited to bug crowd events, which is totally understandable. But based on what I've seen on social media, it looks like they did a they did a really great job, over two hundred thousand dollars in payments. Um, good friends of mine like Doggy G, uh, Sam ZLZ, um, Eric also known as um, Code Can Care on Twitter. Um, did an awesome job, it looks like. So it went okay, it looks like. Um, we'll see what Atlassian is gonna do. I think the target was Atlassian based on all the tweets. So I assume there's going to be, um, I think there's going to be a lot of CVEs coming out of this. Um, BitK, yeah, with Hacker One, we typically don't care where you, you're employed. You know, we're trying to build a community um, for our uh, for our community, and the employment doesn't make a difference. 
Um, so I'll be more than happy to see you there. Um, someone asked about my experience with bug bounties. So this is the last thing we'll talk about before I hop off, uh, unless there's other questions. I got started in bug bounties in 2014 or 15, I want to say. Let's see when I signed up on Hacker One. Um, early 2014 is when I got involved. Um, it was mostly because I had stopped hacking for a very long time. I was hacking for my, uh, you know, for myself. I was learning hacking by going on sites like PHP scripts or uh, online scripts, finding scripts that are open source. I would install them on my local host, and I would look for vulnerabilities. And that was my way of learning how to uh, find bugs. So if I wanted to learn how to do um, local file inclusion, which was huge back in my days in 2006, seven and eight, I would install a bunch of scripts and see if I can replicate the other bugs that people have found and see if I can find more of them on my own. Um, and then when I turned, uh, I think 19 or 20 is, um, it's just because I didn't think there was going to be, I was 1920, no experience in tech. I didn't think anyone was going to hire me uh, as a pen tester or anything like that. I was so you know new to it um, that I just didn't do it for a while. And back in 2014 is when I, a friend of mine pretty much told me, hey, you should start hacking and making money. And my immediate reaction was, A, it's illegal, more than likely, I don't want to get in trouble, and B, who the hell is going to hire me? Um, and that turned out that um, bug bounties were the way to do it. And then I started doing bug bounties for a long time. Uh, got my first job in the industry based on my bug bounty experience. Got my first security engineering job because I was hacking on this company. I worked at Hulu for a while and Hulu hired me because I submitted a kind of good bugs to them. Um, so that was how I got involved. And when I first got my uh, the moment in March of 2014, I bought my first car out of pocket with three bounties I received from Yahoo. And when I bought the car and pulled up to my house, I sat in there and I convinced myself that bug bounties is where I want to be. Um, you know, my, my experience was, holy shit, like this bug bounty thing is huge. It's still very, very new. I want to be in the heart of it, in the middle of all of it. Um, and I went and met up with people like Yobert, Mikhail, Alex Rice at Hacker One, and I told them a lot of feedback that they could fix at Hacker One. And I uh, went home, and the next day I messaged Yobert, I was like, hey, I criticize you guys a lot. Can I come and help you guys with uh, Hacker One? I would love to be a part of the team and um, help you guys out. And they hired me, and I've been here ever since. So, full disclosure, I do work for Hacker One. Um, that is why I have Hacker One gear on in some cases, and also Hacker One was the bug bounty platform that um, pretty much showed me the way. What background did you have back then? I did a lot of web hosting. Um, I did web hosting, um, and I did you know just finding bugs on my own and uh, just to learn. Um, but being a being someone that did a lot of web hosting, I understood a lot of. Uh, I knew basics of Linux. I don't think I'm good at Linux at all. I still suck. I mean, I use Nano for crying out loud. But it showed me the way to understand how websites are built. And that's why I tell people to stop using, like, stop focusing on learning XSS and learning CSRF and all these different bugs. Go and learn how a built website is built. Because if you don't know how this website is built, then how are you going to understand how to find server side injection bugs and find critical findings that gets you paid? Because if you're stopping at XSS, you're not gonna go far, and that's coming from someone who was doing that in the first year. Um, so keep that in mind. And uh, someone said something about um, imposter syndrome. I deal with it on a daily basis. Um, I'm open about it. I, it's a infosec is a very huge community, and. Um, InfoSec also has a lot of stuff you need to learn, and I don't think I know even 2% of it. So this is definitely something I struggle with on my own. I don't know about others, but I'm open about it. You know, I've always said I'm not a good programmer. I don't think I even, I don't consider myself a programmer at all, but I try to learn the basics. 
Uh, I don't have my donation set up just because I haven't spent time on it, Donut. I should fix that soon once I get partnered or at least affiliate. Um, for stuff that have, you know, use CMS, depends on what there is. For WordPress, there's a ton of good uh, WordPress stuff that I use. Um, there's a Word, WordPress, w, WP Scan is a very good tool um, to do the basics. So check it out if you don't know. Um, if you never heard of WP Scan, um, very, very good tool. I have no idea what's happening here. Learning algorithms. What are you learning machine algorithms for? Machine learning algorithms for? What about doing live stream where you pick vulnerabilities and you keep looking at the whole, looking at the whole stream and learn how to look for it? Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, I'm currently in the process of um, working on a new project. I need to find a team that could help me with it. So I've reached out to some folks online, some people that are on my stream on a regular basis, and I've asked them uh, if they want to join and help me build this stuff. Unfortunately, because I work full time, I'm a bug bounty hunter uh, part time. I'm doing streams, YouTube, and I have my own life going on. Um, my hours are very, very limited, so I gotta find a team that could help me with it. Um, I just go based on CVEs. Um, so I look at what I have. I look at so not sorry, not CVE, CVSS. Whatever I find based on the CVSS um, is high. Mark him as critical or whatever. Uh, how does it how does it go work to work for hacker one and still participate so we are not um, we're not able to submit we're not, we're not able to participate in a lot of stuff because um, I personally want to be a fair person um, my whole thing on hacker one is I want to m make an even playing field with hackers so because of those reasons if we think there is a disadvantage or advantage for us to hack on a program we exclude ourselves we have internal documentation uh, around it um, but it's still fun you know I get to hack on my favorite programs um, there's a select number of programs that I hack on that I enjoy and I just keep on hacking on those um, so if you look at my profile you will see um, I only hack on a select number of uh, programs Airbnb Ooh, someone took me over at Airbnb I think it's Ngalog Ron Chan more than likely yep I have been dethroned from being number one on Airbnb for four years, I want to say. But there's only a number of selective programs that I hack on. I used to be number one on this one. Um, used to be top on Yelp back in the day. A lot of different sites. Um, I, I have a, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I stick to a program for a while. And the more I understand this program, the more bugs I find. Thank you for the donation, Donut. Um, next time I'll make sure your meme works. I've never met IPP Sec. Um, no clue who that is. I would love to know who they are if you want to introduce me. Um, I don't, you know, the full time working isn't so much that I love it. Um, I just like the company Hacker One. Uh, maybe I'll tell you for another time why. But I like working for Hacker One. Um, I've thought about the idea of just quitting and doing bug bounties full time. But also working and having a full-time job give me a stability that I wouldn't have on my own. Um, bug bounties is up and down. If I go a whole month, I get sick for a whole month. Um, if I don't make any money, I'm kind of screwed. Um, WP scan. We could talk about WP scan on another day. Should I complete the whole Web Hacking 101 book? This book. Yes, you should absolutely read it. It's very, very good. Shout out to Peter. Um, check it out. There's a free version of it on Hacker One. It's a very, very good book. Uh, definitely worth the investment. Oh, that was loud. Cool. I'm going to cut this uh, stream. Thank you guys so much for joining. Uh, I appreciate you guys being here and spending your Sunday mornings with me. Um, I will be back tomorrow, more than likely for an hour or so, working on the fingerprinting things. Uh, it is going to be at 8.30 p.m. my time. Um, so keep that in mind. It'll be 8.30 p.m. PT. Um, yeah. 
Thank you again for spending your Sundays with me. I will be in Vegas. Uh, hit me up. Tweet at me if you're going to Vegas. Let's meet up and hang out. I uh, will see you guys on Monday, tomorrow night, if not next week. Thanks again, guys. And we'll talk soon.